Hi, Kevin Trudeau here. I want to give you some information about energy and how energy, if you know a little bit about it, it can help you manifest your goals, dreams, and desires faster and easier than ever before. You know, first off, a lot of people, when they watch these videos, always say to me, Kevin, what are all those orbs flying around in the screen in front of you? Some of you see them regularly, and some of you don't. There are a lot of orbs of energy all around me. Some of you see them flying in all the time. Some of you don't. Sometimes you can see one or two. Some people say it's almost like a uh, when they're watching these videos because I'm putting out a lot of photons. I'm putting out a lot of energy. It looks almost like a snowstorm. So if you're seeing things there, it's not dust. Uh, there's no dust here. It is energy. You're actually seeing energy. And what I'm doing when I'm doing these broadcasts is I'm helping you see energy. Number one, I'm putting out a lot of energy, so it's easier to see. But secondly, I'm also trying to tap into you to awaken your ability to see and sense energy. I've been doing this my whole life. It's a gift that I was born with. I was capable of looking at a tree and all of a sudden the perspective would change and I would see the energy of what it really was. And I could see in different dimensions. I could see not just the physical through my senses, uh, you know, what I could hear, see, touch, feel, etc. But beyond what the senses could pick up, I could see energy. I'm not the only person, and not, it's not really that special per se. It's been something that sages, gurus, saints, spiritual masters, and even business people have been able to do for hundreds and even thousands and thousands of years. One thing that came to light recently, and this is what I want to share with you, when we talk about energy, when we talk about the essence of the universe, the oneness of the universe, people say, well, this is all uh, cockamamie BS, consciousness, uh, self-realization, energy, waves, entanglement, we hear all these words. What does it really mean? Well, about five or 600 B.C., it's a long time ago, in China, that Taoism was formed by Latsu. And he came up with a symbol which represented the yin and the yang, the positive and the negative charge of, of energy, the feminine and the masculine. And he talked about how the universe is balanced, that it's all energy and it's all connected that there's only one. And whether something is a million miles over there and here, they're still absolutely connected. There is no time and space. This was 600 BC. Scientists have said this nothing but cockamamie BS. His symbol of Taoism, the yin and yang, is this symbol right here. So we're going to show this symbol. This symbol, as you can see, is the yin and the yang, the dark or contracted energy and the light energy. Sometimes call it the positive and the negative or evil and good. It's really not evil and good. There's no bad water. Ice is not bad water and steam is not good water. They're just contracted at different levels. So this symbol has been around for, well, since 600 BC around. That symbol People always said, it's symbolic. It's just like a symbolic symbol. It doesn't really mean anything. Well, I can see energy. When I was a kid, I could see the photons connected. I could see the energy. I could see that there was no time and space because I was in the space between thoughts. I was in the space between the nucleus of the atom and the electron. There's a space there. That's why we always say that 99.9% .9 of everything is nothing. It's just empty space. And that's sometimes called the zero point field. And when you get there, you pass duality. You pass the veil. Because now there's only one. And when there's only one, there's everything is connected. I saw, I was able to see and perceive, not with the physical eyes per se, although that's true, but with the third eye, I could see the energy. 
And when I was a kid back in the 70s, I went to the library and I was interested in Kung Fu. You know, David Carradine had the TV show Kung Fu when I was reading about yoga back in actually 1969 is when I started doing all this stuff. Yoga, meditation, Kung Fu, Tai Chi, uh, Chi is energy, Reiki, which is the Japanese word for energy, Ki, K-I in Japan, uh, C-H-I, Chi or Ki is what's in China. And then there's Prana and Kundalini and all these different types of uh, ways to express or talk about energy in the Sanskrit uh, from India in that region. And in the Christian tradition, in the Jewish tradition, and in the Kabbalah and the mysticism, and also in, in Islam and in the mysticism part of Islam and the Zohar and all these different mystical books, they talked about this. But Latsu had that symbol. And let's show you that symbol one more time. So here's the symbol that's been around since 600 BC. And scientists and even spiritual gurus said it's symbolic. I saw, I saw this energy. I saw it. Recently, scientists have developed devices that can see energy. And I want to show you a picture. Let's put this up now. This is the actual picture that scientists have seen when they look at photons. Are you kidding me? It's exactly, it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't look like, it is exactly the symbol of the Tao. It's 100% the same. This is what scientists now see with their instruments. And folks, this is what I see. When I look at energy and I change my perspective, this is the type of energy I see. It's moving. It's and it, I can see it. And this is why when I look at a person and I can help help them, I can go into their field. I can go into their bank because I can see what's what energy is there, what's keyed in, what's activated, what what's triggered, what's affecting them so that they're acting irrational, what's holding them back. When it comes to making money, you've heard me talk about the 33 money processes. There are 33 blocks in a person's field that stops money from coming into their life. Everyone has them. And I and this is when I look in a person's field, this is the type of energy that I see. Now, this is called quantum entanglement. We'll put this up on the screen. This is what the scientists say. Quantum entanglement is the weird connection between two far apart particles that Albert Einstein objected to. He called it Spooky action at a distance, and it screwed up his formulas. It enables two light particles, or photons, to become inextricably bound to each other so that a change in one of those particles, one of those photons, causes an instantaneous change in the other, no matter how far apart they are. Now pay attention to this. Let me re let's read this again. Quantum entanglement is the weird connection between two far apart particles. Albert Einstein objected to it because it, he called it spooky action at a distance, and it screwed up his, his formulas, which means they weren't correct. It enables two light particles or photons to become inextricably bound to each other so that a change in one causes an instantaneous change in the other, no matter how far apart they are. What this means is there is no time and space. It, this is what scientists now have proven, and it's what spiritual leaders have been saying for tens of thousands of years. In every book, the Vedas, you go back to the oldest books, this is what it says. It says there's one. They're saying that if I do something here with my mind, I can affect you, even though you're on the other side of the globe. And it doesn't happen in time, it happens instantaneously. This is the power that you have. Once you know how to contract energy and focus energy and move energy, you can affect things anywhere in the universe instantaneously. It's affected anyway. You just have no awareness and consciousness of it, and you're not doing with deliberate intent. This is going to help you manifest goals, dreams, and desires. This is why the money processes is so important. This is why joining the Global Information Network is so important and going through the training that I put together. And it's not my training. It's a training that I received 
that I'm sharing with you. It was how I learned how to take that ability of seeing energy and really taking it to the next level. You can make all of your dreams come true. You can be, do, and have virtually anything you want. Whatever the mind can conceive, you can achieve. What others have done, you can do also. If you have goals and dreams in life, you can make them happen in your life. Make a decision that you're going to do it, that you're going to make your dreams come true. And they will. The choice is yours. Remember, successful people are always willing to do what the other guys are still talking about. Visit the fan club, ktfanclub.com. Visit the Global Information Network website. We'll put some websites out here on the screen. Check out our stuff. If you haven't seen Your Wish Is Your Command, go to yourwishesyourcommand.com. Yourwishesyourcommand.com. The stuff works, and it can work for you. I'm Kevin Trudeau. Much love. See you soon.